And here it is, the finished thing. Um, I made that video about piecing it and backing it and everything. I think earlier in the week, anyway, I've managed to do it. So that's the smallest page. It's probably not folded how I said in that first video. I added this just because I felt like it. No reason other than that. So they were joined together. Um, and then I found this to go under there. If you remember from the first video, I needed something to fall from under there. So I've added that. They're joined together. And that's it. So I now have a very nice, and very easy to store and to keep safely. Because very often if you've got big pieces of sewing or embroidery that aren't <coughs> in a format or created into something that is easy to pick up and put down they can get not damaged but it doesn't do them any good this was hanging on a, a hanger until i did this with it and um, but it's always nicer to have them as a finished something and then you can pick them up and put them down and appreciate them so and then that folds in like that so even though it's not a book in the conventional sense i guess um it's certainly something lovely to just have on a i've got a glass cabinet um on one of the shelves in there to take out and pick up as I feel like it and have a look and I mean it will inspire more work that little book that I showed you earlier in the week on my blog um, the last post I think I could look at this and think I really love this area here I'm going to replicate that in my little book and then add something else to it perhaps something else from this um, so maybe a little bit of fringing so I would take that idea find some more of this fringing and add it to that which would be different to this because here it's added to something completely different and there's a pen there I don't know why I'm always finding pins a little Suffolk puff here made with silk habitat so I could maybe again replicate this and put little silk puffs made with silk little Suffolk puffs made with silk appetai along the edge of it so just mixing and matching the ideas I mean you can never fail to be inspired if you're surrounded by things like this um, just section off little areas and try and replicate them but add something different to them just to change them to alter them in some way so I'm really glad it's done and I'm really glad I've got the opportunity to show you on video that it's done because sometimes with photographs you can't get uh, a true sense of how it actually is to handle and to unfold etc.